The Heat Hornet series has really changed depending on the venue. Hornets got their first playoff win since 02 in game three. Hassan Whiteside giving it a go despite a bruised right thigh he suffered in that loss. And there he is as proof that he was playing the layup and one. Miami up early on. Goran Dragic to Amari Stoudemire. Who? Who is that? <laughs> oh, oh, that was Amari. Amari? <laughs> Put him up by 11. They led by seven after the first quarter. Second quarter, very different story as the Hornets go on a 27 to 6 run. Jeremy Lin there for the reverse layup. Courtney Lee played really well in a lot of different ways for the Hornets. He really did, Matt. Rebound the ball well, excellent defense. But Jeremy Lin Ooh. was the guy that got things going that second quarter with a lot of energy and a lot of effort. Oh, and don't forget Kemba. Walk this way. Finishes with the left hand there, and suddenly Charlotte's up by seven. More from Walker. Knocks down the jumper. Hornets would take a nine-point lead to the locker room for halftime. But wait, here come the Heat. This is a game full of gigantic runs. This one a 17 to one spurt by Miami. Lou Aldang for three. He shot the ball well all series. Joe Johnson feeling mm. it. Deep money ball. Rejuvenated. He led Miami with 16. But Charlotte, better offensive team with Jeremy Lin and Kemba Walker handling the ball. So good at attacking the rim. Uh, Lin here launches this, a shot he said he thought had, quote, no chance of going in, and yet it does. A little MJ shrug <laughs> with the boss in the house. Not the same, baby. It's not the same. 21 points on just 10 shot attempts for Lynn. Heat bench helps get him back into it. Justice Winslow there, and then Gerald Green for three. Big time shot here in the fourth quarter. Looks like Miami's trying to get back and pull this thing out. And it's a one point game at that point, but Kemba Walker responds. At one point, he scored 11 straight for Charlotte, knocks down the three, then watch him shake the defender. A screw. A shake and bake. Back. Can't play basketball with skates on. Mm. No, you cannot. That's <laughs> slipping and sliding. More from Walker. Can't get this, but there's Courtney Lee. Huge. Getting in there, sacrificing the body with those trees, getting that big rebound. Two enormous offensive rebounds mm -hmm. late in this yeah, game. Yes, he did. Walker scored 11 of his 34 in the fourth quarter to record the highest scoring playoff game by a Hornet since Jamal Mashburn back in 2001. Hornets have now won consecutive playoff games for the first time since 2002. They've also won six straight 18 of their last 21 at the Hive. Now this is more um, felt more throwback old school Eastern Conference uh, basketball. Both teams shooting under 40 percent. Um, a lot of physical plays out there and who could who could endure and make the last few plays and uh, and they were able to make those last few pay plays the game has been so tough for us you know, especially here in charlotte uh we got to be able to get stops that's, that's more importantly and uh try to tone their guards down in kimber and land uh we got to try to find a way to uh to, to slow them down a little bit kimber um he's a handful of the pick and roll it's, it's, it's only so much you can do with that little guy I mean, he's crafty, he's shifty, um, but then he raises up to shoot. Uh, he finishes very well, so he's played 40-plus minutes, and you know, we're trying to tire him out. Our bigs are doing a job tonight. He got it going.